Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today, making sure the camera's in good, in a good way, but um, anyways, um, yeah, I'll start over. I couldn't, I couldn't find the envelopes that I used to make these. Um, I know a lot of you asked me to do a tutorial, um, but then I went my, on my little, you know, vacay due to not feeling good and, uh, you know, I didn't do it, but, um, I wanted to do it today, but I found this one, but the envelope, it's a little bigger. So I trimmed some off just to, uh, you know, try to get it in that, um, the same length, but I'm probably going to have to cut here and then maybe stitch it just to, um, yeah, I should have done that too. So I'm going to do that. Let me trim that off real quick. I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm still having issues with my allergies. It's like no joke. Okay, so that's better. So now, like I said, well, that was the other video. <laughs> I'm using a, um, this is a holiday card that I found a, a bag on at a thrift store and it, you know, a bunch of greeting cards, birthday cards, all kinds of cards. And uh, of course, I'm using them for this. But anyway, so you need an envelope and a card. If you don't have a card, you can just grab a piece of cardstock and fold it in half and then just cut it to size of the envelope. So, no. No, Prince. Get down. Sorry, guys. Get down. That's my daughter's cat. She's, he's trying to come up on the table. Okay, so let's get started. So all I did was this pretty much. And so you have there and there. So we're going to start by gluing this flap down. So I am going to use my glue stick. I hope it's not too dark, guys. Which I could have cut this flap down a little bit, but oh well. So then I'm just going to try to measure, make sure I center it. Sorry if my head comes in the camera, guys. Okay, I'm going to say right there. So you just glue that down. So there's my greeting card. And that's my envelope. So now, since I ended up cutting here to make it to size, which I could have left it, you know, but I just wanted it the same size. As you can see, this one sticks out a little bit. But it's not too bad. But, I mean, now I have the option of using this side as a tuck or opening the top. So I may use the, um, the side here. So from this this point, we need to um, collage this whole um, this whole envelope. So I'm thinking maybe to do it faster, maybe I should use some some uh, papers that are I don't have to collage. Sorry guys, I gotta move this because all my good papers on the bottom. Okay, so I'm thinking, or should we collage? You know what? This collage. I like collaging. <laughs> so now here, because of this opening, I need to put a solid paper. So I'm thinking maybe I want that one. So I'm going to flip it backwards and just put it on the envelope. And I don't know what I did with my pencil. 
I know it's buried down my down in my um I rearranged here on my table and I don't know where I threw it at. It'll pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down to size. So I hope you guys are all doing good and you guys aren't struggling with your allergies. I know I am. And it's not fun. I have to be taking pills constantly for my allergies. Okay, I'm going to distress the edges real quick. Over here. So, yeah. My husband's outside with his friend, and they're hearing music. I told him to keep it down. Hopefully he listens. Okay. Then I'm going to use my wet glue. You know what? Let me use this one better. I think it's a little faster than the, uh, what do you call it? The um, tacky glue. I forgot to tell my son though that I was videotaping. Hopefully, if he comes out of his room, he comes out quietly. Because my son is like my little son, they're everything but quiet. <laughs> So I'm just going to glue just the edges because I don't want to glue my little pocket there. And I'm just going to put glue there. And I'm just going to put this baby down. Okay, and I think this paper, if you guys are interested, um, I should have uh, looked it up, but I think it's from Sienega. Uh, um, I'll look it up to make sure, because sometimes I say the wrong thing, well, all the time. Okay, so we did that. So now we're going to start um, it's my son. So now I'm going to start um, collaging. So where oh, right here. My glue book. been a busy bee guys I've been making all kinds of pockets and stuff um, throughout the time that I really wasn't doing as much as I should have <laughs> I did do a bunch of uh, journals now they just need to be decorated so yeah I haven't um, yeah, I need to finish them but, um, but yeah, I need to do that. And, uh, what else? Anything new and exciting in my life that I could share with you guys? Uh, hmm. The only thing is my allergy problems. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about that. Now this side, put this piece there. But I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos 
There is so much stuff that I want to play with. Well, give it a try, you know? I feel like I was gone for like ever. Like, uh, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, mm-hmm, go play over there, little boy. The, uh, what do you call it? Oh, my goodness. The, um, wow, I'm already starting so early. So early in the game. The challenge, there you go, that um, Rachel at Roxy Creation has going, like, I mean, it already started, but I am not lying. I feel like, like, uh, you know, jumping in and just catch up little by little. She's doing a, uh, a, uh, well, maybe I should just, no, maybe I shouldn't. She, uh, she has a, I guess every week, once a week challenge. So that's not too bad. I think I can hang with that. <laughs> so yeah, I may I may catch up, guys. You may see some videos because I know she did tags at first. Then uh, she did. Oh, she's got also a a. Uh, A tag one, but um, with a slow stitching. I, I don't know about that one, but I know she's that's from somebody else, I think. So no, not that one. I'll be I'll be on camera forever if I do slow stitching. So no. Should I put this? Yeah, I think I should. I'll just take some of this off but yeah she did some awesome envelope uh, little flap thingies for the you know your journal pages I thought that was an amazing um, idea so yeah I want to give it a try guys so uh, yeah, I am gonna probably go back to make sure I uh, you know see everything I think she's in her second or third day. I don't know. I have to go make sure. But it, it looks fun. Okay, so we got that one there. Oh, I don't have no music on this one. Let's see if we can find. These are pages I glued together. Okay, this is a charger to my phone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm like moving everything. Um, <laughs> uh oh, looks like I don't have any more muse. Oh yes, I do. So I just want them to have a, you know. Okay, this is not a good piece, Patty. little trays of all kinds of ephemera because like I said I was decorating my uh, my little pockets I've been making so yeah I got stuff everywhere okay 
And let's see. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to pop that one right there. That one will go there. And this one. I love these papers for collage. Well, I got a bunch of them that I love. <laughs> Which the other day, actually two days, I printed different uh, papers just for, you know, collaging and it's like you want to print everything. <sighs> oh, I'm like so addicted to paper. Shoot, I should have cut it shorter. I kind of covered a lot of that newspaper print a bit. Oh well. We could always add, add more. I'm going to pop that one right there. piece here so let me grab another piece here um, let me use this ruler I have some stuff in the I'm supposed to be at, at my garage working over there my little craft area but um it's not, um, it's almost done, but there's some stuff that I still need to take care of. And, you know, it got late, so I'm here in my dining room doing my video. I didn't want to go to the garage. I wish it was connected to my, um, house, but it's not. So, I don't like in the evenings to be out all the way over there. Not cool. But I'm doing a video, mijo. Huh? I'm doing a video, okay? Sure. Okay. Okay, so we got a little bit of those two. So now what do we want to use? Let's see. I'm recording. So let's see, so we have this one, this is from uh, another one that I love, this is from uh, the old design shop, it's so pretty, and oh by the way, I went to a shop, and she's got a lot of fun stuff, and I'm just like, oh my god, my little cart is full of her stuff, not to mention Tracy Fox, another one. You know, they come out with these cool, um, digis. It's like, you know, I gotta have them, I gotta have them. No, you don't, Patty. But my brain doesn't understand. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I walked away. I said, I have to walk away. I have too much in my, in my, um, in my, um, uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to cut a piece because I don't want to cut. The, I mean, cover the newspaper. But yeah, I have too much. Too much. Do I need all that? No. But yes, I do, because they will look awesome for, for collaging. She has um, this uh, French documents. I think it is. Or invoices documents I think I mean just just you know she's got a lot of them I'm just like wow 
if I end up, uh, you know, doing it, I'll show you guys next time. Because <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to end up buying them. But I bought some stuff, some digikits not too long ago. So I think that's what's making me feel guilty. I'm like, okay, you shouldn't be spending money, Patty. You know, that kind of weird stuff. Yeah. I hate when my brain thinks like that. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, so we finished that one. So let's flip to this side. Now this little itty bitty piece, we got to put it somewhere. We can't throw it away. We'll find a spot for it. So I have this piece here. I'm gonna pop that one right there. I love when you're collaging and then you're just like pretty much, you know, connecting the last pieces and how it all just just works together. It's all pretty. I don't know. I get too excited over paper, I'll tell you that much. My hands are getting sticky. And this one, I'm gonna have to, should we just, yeah, I'm gonna pop it that way. And my page is getting gluey. So let me change pages. Pop it over there for now. And there. Hmm. Goodness, paper sure. That's the only thing I don't like about collaging. Your hands start gluing each other together. So yeah, when you collage, yeah, it takes a little longer than when you use a, you know, just a whole, a whole set. There, and... But yeah, hopefully my next video, I'll be in my, my little studio out there all alone. All alone, all by my lonesome. Yeah. And... here to take all this white off. The top one. Oh, and I'll also uh, Tsunami Rose um, asked me to do a guest design team project for her with her new digi kit. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. I gotta show it to you guys. 
I was printing it and then I ran out of ink but I already got some ink so I gotta finish printing it so hopefully on my next video I will show you guys okay I'll have to cut that piece off so what else what else do we want to add there I could add another piece of this here. Let me see. Which I shouldn't get too picky because we end up covering them when we do the pockets. <laughs> I know a lot of, a lot of you guys have told me that. And it's true. It's true. So now we just need to cover that piece right there. That's blue. That doesn't go. Uh, let's see. What can we use? I've printed so many papers from various um, people. I honestly don't even know what's what. Ah! Oh, God, you scared me. Who was that? Baby, stop it. You scared the crap out of mama. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't even know she was in here. They were outside. So I have had got this one I'm trying to remember the name. I'm going to cut a piece like this. Um, Pink Monarchy Design, I think it is. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, um, Purchasing from her shop, she's got a lot of awesome stuff. So yeah, that's why you know I gotta I gotta cut back on my ordering. <laughs> so I did a lot of ordering with her, and now I gotta go to uh, um, the old design shop and Tracy. Tracy came up with what did she come up with? That I'm like, oh, I want those. Oh, some hearts. I don't have a heart punch and I see all kinds of embellishments that people do with hearts and I'm like oh, I need to give me a punch I need to give me a punch or a die cut something and I haven't yet you know but um okay I think I cut it too big I'm gonna cut it right there but um Okay, so that's done. What should I... Where should I pop this little piece? I'm just going to put it right there. That way we don't waste anything. And then down here, I probably should put a piece there. Let me cut this off. Yeah, I'm in frame. Huh. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, the hearts. They're really cute. So, you know, I know how to cut hearts like, you know, back in school, you know, elementary, you fold the paper in half. But it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. I w I'm going to get me a die, die cut. I need I need one. So I will eventually get one. But maybe maybe a a, a die cut would be better because you get all kinds of sizes versus a, a punch, you know, you only get one size. So I may do that. Mm. 
I may do that. There, so that one's done. This one we need to cover right there. So should I, I should just use some of this piece, huh? Let me take this white little strip off. Which I'm sure I didn't cut straight. See, you could tell by that piece. Let's not focus too much on that. So I'm going to save right there. And let's see about there. Yeah, that'll work. Gotta hurry up so we can get to the fun stuff. Well, this is fun. <laughs> but also adding the pockets is fun. Now on the other ones, my my little sample ones that I made. I used um, a kit um, from um, from Medieval Mirage. So the the pockets were basically already made, but you know they they're the kinds that look already like they're torn. So. I think, oh, I'm not going to cover the back. Well, it depends. Because if I glue it down to a page, you know, there's no point. Like on this one, because this is a small one, but I don't know, this one's kind of big. That one may not fit, so, I mean, I could just cover the back if I ended up leaving it as, as a, you know, a little insert. Which, yeah, this one's bigger. Might end up doing that. So I'm just going to distress my edges real quick. And uh, from this point, you can take it to the sewing machine if you want to stitch around it. I am tempted to, I'm not going to lie, but because I'm on video, I'm not going to do it because the sewing machine is like over there. So, yeah, I probably won't do it I'll probably do it afterwards oh, my husband's looking for Phoebe and she's in here okay and now on this side I'm gonna distress this side If you do leave this as an insert, I recommend you use cardstock on the back just to make it more firm. Because like this, it's a little flimsy. Oops, I forgot right here. Okay. I think I got it all. So then after this is when we start adding our, our pockets. Um, let me see. I had some images here. Put that on the floor. No, those aren't it. Where did I put them at? Where did I put them at? They're probably in my pile in here. Yep. Let me pull these out. See, these are some of the prints from uh, Pink uh, Monarch Prints. Here, in case I, I pronounce it wrong. And um, I'll just tag one. She has more of these, but I kind of like that one. Let's cut them out.
this one, just in case. have to trim that one. That one's nice too. But I think I'm going to go for that one. The only thing is this one you can't trim. And it's going to cover most of the paper. But it, it already has um, stitching. Let's see. If not, I'll pick one of the other images so I can cut it down. go for this one. Um, of course, we need to add some cheesecloth because it makes it look cute. So I'm going to cut a, a piece. You guys heard that the kids are telling the dog to shut up. <laughs> okay. Do we need to add anything else to it? I'm wondering if I should add a little piece down there. cloth just works awesome. Makes everything look extra cute. So, okay. I'm going to grab my my glue. son just passed by, my husband just passed by, and they're so quiet. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. They probably can't wait for me to go to the garage. It's like, this woman doesn't let us do anything. I haven't even checked my time. Sure, I put enough glue, especially in my edges. Let me check my time. Okay, we're still good. Let's see how far I can get. I think right there. Crooked. Yeah. Put a pen real qu quick in here. Oh, I said I was going to glue this, so I'm going to glue it in one of them. Can't waste it. Can't waste it. Okay, so we definitely need some sort of label or something to make it look cute. So, where, where, where? And I actually have been running low on Tracy's um, 
labels. I don't have a lot to choose from anymore. But I still have some here. Let's see. I already printed some. That's too big. Unless I don't mind the... Um, Distress the edges real quick. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm about to pop it there. And I'm going to use wet glue. Make sure it doesn't um, fall off. Come on, come on, work with me. Okay, so I'm going to say... I'm going to say right there. Now, I still feel like I need something else. So I'm wondering this out of the way. I feel like I need a, a number label. Let's see. <clears throat> I wonder... Oh, these are um, the random um, science -y labels. Oh, there's my pencil. Let's see how this would look. I'll cut over here, guys, because like I have to have it like right in front of me. The lighting that I have in here is not all that good. I mean, it is when I work, but because I'm videotaping, I had to switch things around and yeah, when you're blind, you need all the light you can get. <laughs> Everything's sticking to me. I don't think I'm going to finish this um, little booklet. <clears throat> but I find that when I uh, decorate the cover, I mean, it's just like a journal, too. It just motivates you more. At least it does me. Oh, my hands are so freaking gluey. Where do I want to... I like it there, but I like it there too. Yeah, right there. Okay. 
Okay. Which... Oh, no, it's on this side. I'm like, oh, I was going to put a piece of the... Wow. On the little one. Where are you? Where are you, little one? No, not on this one. Okay. So this one's like this. <laughs> but on this one that I'm still... Well, some of these. I ended up putting fabric just to, you know, ensure that it doesn't come apart. You know, because uh, you don't know how much these little flappies are going to be. Um, you know, opened and closed, so I want to do that to this one, but I did put it on this side. Now it's going to be hard because of that label, so maybe I won't do it on that one then. <laughs> Anyways, okay, get that out of the way. Okay, so now we have that. So this is our, basically our little, our little cover. So now we have to decorate in here and on this side now here I'm probably gonna leave my pocket here on the side since I cut it and I'm gonna punch my little hole that way I remember for when I start doing my pockets now let me see if I can center it as best as I can That's okay. and I distress on the inside so yeah, I'm probably going to um, put a piece of cardstock on the back. I'll probably just leave it as a little insert. So yeah, it should have been more up. That's okay. So we are good. Now this little piece, we need to find a home for it. Little bits like, like this end up going in the trash. <laughs> um, I guess we should cover the word Christian in case... The person who gets this, they may not be Christians. So I'm just going to pop it right there. Yeah, the music sheets that I'm using, they're um, hymns from church. Okay, so where are we? Uh, okay, I only have uh, 12 minutes, so I think what I'm going to do is just stop here. I'm going to get all my little pockets together and then um, start a new video and um, go from there. So, so far, this is what we have, guys. I think it's coming out really cute. And, of course, you guys already saw this is a nature theme journal versus this one, this one here. <laughs> And the sizes are different. But anyways, like I said, I'll stop right here because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish it all, all in one shot. So I will see you guys on my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.